Now, what is very important when it comes to diabetes um, to understand that diabetes is one of the risk factors for atherosclerosis and narrowing of the arteries. It is one of the uh, risk factors, significant risk factors, of heart disease and stroke. Anything to do with the circulatory system, diabetes accelerates the process of arterial closure. So when you look at this chart here from the famous Framingham study, you begin to realize that the three biggest risk factors that drive heart disease and narrowing of the arteries is cholesterol, and then high blood pressure and smoking. And then the very next one, as you see there, is diabetes. Now, if diabetes is a vascular <coughs> accelerator, an accelerator of vascular disease, of vascular narrowing, then it would make sense that you understand very, very well why diabetics have to worry about more blindness. Because it causes the small vessel in the back of the eye to become no longer optimally functional. Atherosclerosis and narrowing of the vascular structures. And so when it comes to diabetes, blindness, nuke blindness, is the number one cause in our society of all blindness, it is, blind, uh, it is diabetes. Number two, diabetics usually have a much higher risk for developing renal disease, kidney disease. As a matter of fact, it's 18 times higher. And now you see everywhere in Western society, and even in Dominica now, in the, in the Korean islands, they're building diabetes treatment centers that focus on dialysis units. Huge profit margins there. Shouldn't we be more concerned in turning the disease off than managing the disease? And then you have to be concerned about heart disease and stroke, which is increased by two to four times for diabetics. Diabetics, as I mentioned already, impotence is a real factor for men there. And then you have to be concerned about amputations. First your toe, then your foot, then your leg. I've seen it over and over again. It's the number one cause of industrial um, of non-industrial uh, amputations, foot and leg amputations. Then, of course, you have to worry about hearing loss. Because, again, these small vessels that are supposed to bring nutritional content to the inner ear affect it. You have to think in terms of the intracerebral vessels becoming narrowed down. So now you have to worry about stroke. You have to worry about cognitive processes, you have to worry about Alzheimer's disease, you have to worry about senility, you have to worry about memory loss. Uh, these are all related to diabetes. Diabetics are affected by a disease that some of us call the mother of all chronic diseases. And when people get the diagnosis of diabetes, it's like a death knell, like a death sentence. You know it's over, especially if you're educated and you know what it does, the complications. You also know that when it comes to life expectancy, life expectancy is significantly reduced. For instance, if you are diagnosed at the age of 40 years with diabetes, uh, you're a man, you will lose about 11.6 years. For a woman, it's about 14.3 years. I mean, these are terrifying realities. And yet, it doesn't have to be that way. I have some good news for you now. And that is, you can reverse this disease. You can reverse disease in weeks, in most cases, if you're willing to make some simple lifestyle changes, like moving towards a diet that's plant-based and whole food. And where most of your calories come from, starch. Did you hear me? Starch, I cannot eat starch, I'm a diabetic, it will turn into sugar, no, no way. Yes, but I'll show you later on, it's not the starch, per se, but it's the unrefined starch. The way how food comes to us in nature, that's the magical friend for diabetics. When you get enough fiber into your system as it comes with starchy foods like beans, they're wonderful if you want to reverse diabetes. If you want to do something about diabetes, begin to eat more foods that have not only soluble but also insoluble fiber, like whole grains. I'm not talking about grains. 
I mean, that's donuts and cakes and pies. No, I'm talking about whole grains, like whole wheat. I'm talking about corn on the cob. I'm talking about spelt. I'm talking about these kind of foods as they come to us in nature where you don't really need a nutrition label. Nature didn't make too many mistakes. But we take a perfect product and we refine it for profitability and perhaps palatability and we seduce the people and the diseases emerge. Here's Dr. James Anderson, one of the foremost uh, researchers in the area of uh, diabetes. You know, he's written over 500 scientific articles and books, a personal friend of mine, and he said, Hans, some 50 to 75% of these type two diabetics on insulin and 80 or 90% of those on pills could normalize their blood sugars and be off medication within weeks if they changed their diet. He said that at a national conference in Loma Linda University in 1980, and he published it and published it and published it, but somehow nobody listens. We're pushing the drugs. Easy answer. Oh, don't worry about changing your diet. I mean, just take some extra. Enjoy your food. Do whatever you want. If your blood sugar goes up, just take some extra insulin. You'll be fine. No. We need a paradigm shift. We need to move from medicine to lifestyle medicine. Where we provide education and motivation and inspiration, ideally in a community setting, so where people find they have support. It's swimming against the current of the culture. And I always tell my patients, you are good. I mean, just think about this. Yes, you have to swim against the current of the culture, but only dead fish swim with the current. (laughs) So when it comes to diabetes, let's just take a little bit of a review here. Uh, You see here on the screen, uh, this is a person without diabetes. Uh, We have a pancreas. Um, and the pancreas produces uh, a special hormone called insulin, and that insulin goes to every one of your 100 trillion cells within seconds when it's being released to open the cellular gates so that the sugar in the blood can go into the cell and drive the activities of the cell. The cell is like a tank, and you need to have the gas to come in to run the engine. Are you with me there? Okay, now... This is now a person with type 1 diabetes. It's a, diff- it's a special kind of diabetes. It's usually found mostly in younger people. Type 1 diabetes, here you see what is missing in that person. Take a look. Well, the pancreas is there, but it doesn't produce any insulin. So if you don't have any insulin, you don't have any door opener to the cells to usher in the glucose, the blood, the sugar, and take it out of the blood and move it into the cell where it's needed. This is the itch- issue. You need to have glucose in your cell to run the machinery. That's the energy. That's the gas in the tank. That person does not produce insulin. There'll be no door opening effect. The doors are shut. The blood sugar builds up in the bloodstream. And the person ends up in a coma. It's usually ultimately deadly. And so these people are dependent on external insulin that's being injected on a regular basis. And they can, they can live fairly normal lives, particularly if they avoid the complications of the American diet and move towards a diet that is centered on plant foods and whole foods. Then you have type 2 diabetes. And here, of course, you have an overactive pancreas. I mean, this poor mm, target organ is working overtime in trying to push out enough insulin and more insulin and more insulin to try to open up the gates of those cells. And yet somehow the cells don't always open up. There's something wrong with the hinges on the door. Maybe they're rusty. Or maybe there's some communication problem within the cell where the signal doesn't go out, open up the doors, I need energy. And so you can see here, the glucose, the blood sugar, is building up on the outside of the cell, and the cell in the midst of plenty is actually beginning to starve for the gas in the tank, the glucose. So this is what we call insulin insensitivity. We talk about a disease here 
where there is enough insulin available. This is different from type 1. You have plenty of insulin when a person is diagnosed initially with diabetes. There's plenty of insulin, but the insulin somehow doesn't work. It doesn't do the job adequately well. There's something wrong with the hinges. There's something wrong with the intracellular signaling and so on. Well, you're already aware now that there are at least two kinds of diabetes, right? Type 1 and, yeah, you, you understand that. But then there's a third kind, gestational, that happens during pregnancy. And one of the lectures here talked about perhaps the diabetes that might be related to radiation. These are the three big ones that we usually talk about. The biggest one, obviously, the most prevalent one is type 2 diabetes. Usually happens uh, when people are 60, 70 years of age. That's what I was taught. And that was correct in the 1970s. But things have changed. Today, we're, being, we're instructing our medical students, listen, when you do a physical, be sure you look, at, look for an increase in blood sugar. In 60-year-olds, 70-year-olds, yes, but also in 50-year-olds, in 40-year-olds, in 30-year-olds, in 20-year-olds, in 15-year-olds, because now this disease that was restricted largely to the elderly now is found in the juveniles. In the 1970s, when we saw a, a 15-year-old with an increased blood sugar, we said, oh, he must be a type 1 diabetic. No more. It's a very scary thing, which also debunks the idea that we have so much diabetes because we're living longer. No, it's not that, because this disease is now reaching out into the younger cell of our population, too. And what do we do? We manage the symptoms. We don't cure diabetes. So we have 3 million people on insulin. We have another 2 million on insulin and pills. And then we have 13 million people on pills for the rest of their lives. That's a great income stream for companies that produce these drugs. For life. That's the ideal disease to have. For life. For the next 20, 30, 40 years. Pills. Do they turn the disease around? 